Hey there, viewers. Are you more of a coffee lover, or a tea lover? It's an easy question. For most people it's one or the opposite. I mean, I've dabbled in both, but that's me. I get it, coffee's great for those early morning drives. But did you recognize tea has numerous more benefits? Let's mention 9 reasons why you would like to drink tea over coffee. Does tea hydrate you better? Does it offer you more energy? Is it just simply easier to make? Wait a second, can it actually reduce your chances of cancer? We're talking all that and more. Let's begin. Reduces cancer risk There are numerous sorts of tea, so let's narrow it right down to black and green for this discussion. Tea may reduce your risk of getting cancer within the end of the day. I mean sure, coffee contains antioxidants. But you're normally putting sugar and cream in it, which decreases its health benefits. The polyphenols found in tea are said to kill cancer cells. Studies have shown that tea regulates the expansion of cancer cells and stops new cells from developing. Black tea has also been shown to scale back the expansion of breast tumors. So if you've got a history of cancer in your family, it'd be an honest idea to start out drinking more teas. What's your favorite quite tea? Have you ever experienced a lift in health from your favorite tea? Sound off within the comment section and begin a conversation with our King of Heal Tea community. It's pretty easy to form for those of you who pride yourself on your tea-making abilities, I hate to burst your bubble, but it's not all that spectacular. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure your cup is spectacular. But let's get real here. Tea is super easy to try to too. All you actually need is predicament and a tea bag. For coffee, you would like a machine. It's an entire task. Unless you would like instant coffee. Then it's easier in fact. But let's face it, during a world of delicious gourmet brews, who's getting to accept coffee out of a kettle? With tea, it's with great care simple. Even if you don't have a kettle, you'll boil it over the stove. From there, you pour your water during a cup and contribute the tea bag of your choice. Tea has more antioxidants if you drink tea, you're getting an entire lot of flavonoids. This is an antioxidant made up of natural substances. It's found not only in tea, but fruits, veggies, flowers and wine. While black coffee has its justifiable share of antioxidants, you're likely to urge far more from your tea. Flavonoids have plenty of great benefits. When you drink tea, the antioxidants will attend war with free radicals. This decreases cell damage and reduces your risk of getting a chronic disease. The antioxidants also can make your heart healthier. But more thereon during a bit. Whatever the benefits, the antioxidants will have you ever feeling great. This leads me into my next point. Boosts your energy given how exhausting our daily lives are often, I feel it's safe to mention we all need an honest jump start. Well tea can provide that during a way that coffee can't. Most teas have a moderate amount of caffeine compared to coffee. The average adult is suggested no quite 400 mg of caffeine each day. The average 8 ounces brewed coffee holds 96 mg of caffeine, while tea holds 47. This is only enough to offer you that quick boost of energy you would like to urge things done in the morning. 
Another big difference between tea and coffee's caffeine is that when you're coming down from a coffee buzz, you actually come down. Coffee can cause you to super depressed. So if you're trying to find something which will assist you survive the work day, make tea your go-to. Helps you reduce if you're looking to shed some decent pounds, tea can roll in the hay for you. Drinking coffee just isn't an equivalent. I mean there's evidence to point out that a diet of black can make a difference on the scale. But when it involves tea, there's little comparison. Green tea feeds the great bacteria in your gut. This works to enhance your gastrointestinal system. As a result, you are going to reduce quicker. The state of your gut bacteria plays a very important role in your health. There's bacteria that's good for your gut, and bacteria that isn't. The polyphenols from tea also promote healthy gut bacteria. This makes an enormous difference when fighting various diseases also as obesity. Tea also will give your metabolism a jump. So if you're looking to urge in better shape, drink more tea. Before we continue, are you trying to lower your cholesterol? Then you have need to watch your food intake. Check out our recent video where we mention 7 foods that help lower your cholesterol. Now back to our discussion on the advantages of drinking tea over coffee. Good for your teeth I mean, is it even a contest? Drinking an excessive amount of sugary coffee makes for one awkward visit to the dentist's chair. It makes your teeth look rotted and discolored. Talk about ammo for health professionals. On the opposite hand, drinking a moderate amount of tea will have your teeth looking tons better. Both black and tea have fluoride. This is a mineral that stops cavity by repairing your enamel. Tea also will prevent cavities from developing. This is done by controlling your bacteria and reducing acid in your mouth. Boosts your heart remember once we talked about flavonoids? Well these antioxidants will boost your heart health. Consuming tea on a daily basis is claimed to scale back the danger of heart condition. This includes lowering your vital sign and your cholesterol. One study from 2012 focused on patients who drank tea a day for 12 weeks straight. By the end, their blood glucose, triglyceride, and cholesterol levels had decreased dramatically. This results in a way happier heart. I mean coffee's antioxidants can lower your risk of disease, but it must be consumed black so as to urge the complete benefits. Tea's just better during this area. Not convinced? Here's another study which may convince you to drink more tea. Apparently three cups of tea every day lowers your chances of getting heart condition. So if heart condition runs in your family, or you're just concerned about your overall health, drink some more tea. Reduces stress while can assist you awaken within the morning, it's not exactly related to stress relief. Too many coffees can have you ever bouncing off the wall. This will increase your anxiety. Especially if you're the worrisome type. Now there's some evidence that caffeine may help to scale back stress, but coffee shouldn't be your first choice. Tea on the opposite hand may be a tasty choice for when you're feeling jittery. Research shows that tea can reduce your level of cortisol. This is also referred to as the strain hormone. This is exactly what you would like during a quick paced work week. Tea also works well during the vacation seasons, when people are really stressed. Tea has other psychological state benefits also. 
It's been said that drinking 100 milliliters every day can lower your risk of developing depression. It may even stop you from getting dementia. So if you would like something that creates you are feeling better mentally, I might choose tea over coffee any day. Tea keeps you hydrated if it's a scorching hot summer day, you would like something that quenches your thirst and keeps your fluids going. When it involves hot beverages, tea is your best bet. I know. Tea on a hot day? Who's getting to choose that? Well tea can keep you hydrated, so it does add up. While can also do that, you're more likely to remain hydrated with tea. It has more H2O. It will replace fluids you've lost during the day through sweat. But there's a catch to the present. You don't want to possess caffeinated tea. Too much caffeine will have the other effect. While you'll have a lift in energy within the beginning, you'll become dehydrated. In the case of hydration, you would like herb tea instead. These are generally caffeine-free and don't have any dehydrating effects. And the great thing about it's that there are numerous herbal teas to settle on from. I'm talking about anything from chamomile, to peppermint, to rosehip. They're made up of the leaves, stems, flowers and roots of plants. Yup, tea sure does tons of great things. Now that I've got your attention, let's keep the conversation going. Here's a few more videos you would like to see out. Learn more about what drinking tea a day does to your body. Or how about 9 drinks to avoid if you would like younger looking skin. Go ahead, click 1. Or better yet, how about watching them both. And don't forget to love and subscribe our channel. Do you already drink more tea than coffee? Let us know within the comments below.